Fake news. Welcome to today's headlines. IPOB leader Unam Dekano to miss October court sitting in Abuja. IPOB leader Unam Dekano to miss October 4 court sitting in Abuja. To my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. The detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Hypo, Mazi Unam Dekano will not appear in court on October 4, 2022, for the continuation of his trial. According to Ifiayi Ejiofo, his lead counsel, although Ejiofo did not provide details, it may be connected to Kano's worsening health condition. The IPOP's lead counsel, who stated this in a statement after Monday's written visit to Kano at the headquarters of the Department of State Services DSS Abuja, revealed that his client was still being kept in solitary confinement for over 14 months. A geo for, however, stated that IPOB leader was elated on the prayers and solidarity shown to him by friend and well wishers on his birthday and prayed that God bless them. Oyedu was profoundly elated on the outpouring of prayers, good wishes and solidarity on his special day on heart. He requested the expression of his outfelt Gratitude to you all, Umuchineke followers, friends, families, and all lovers of freedom across the globe for massively celebrating him on his birthday. He does not take this for granted. Oyedul assures you all, Umuchineke, that he will emerge stronger and victorious in the end, and which freedom will greatly impact positively on the lives of Umuchineke. May I also use this medium to clarify that Onyedul is not appearing in court on the 4th of October, 2022. Umuchineke will be informed via this platform or other approved channels of communication whenever Onyedul will appear in court. Kindly ignore the false rumor currently in circulation. We wish to reiterate that our defense team, eminently led by the indefatigable Chief Mike Ozekome, San, is not relenting in all legitimate actions necessary to bring every form of infractions on Oyedu's right being, flag being flagrantly violated by the DSS even in custody to a halt. Thankfully, our efforts are yielding the desired result. The detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipo, Mazi Unamdekano will not appear in court on October 4, 2022 for the continuation of his trial. According to Linfia in AG4, AG4 is lead counsel. Although AG4 did not provide details, it may be connected to Kano's worsening health condition. The IPOP's lead counsel who stated, who stated this in a statement after Monday's written visit to Kano at the headquarters of the Department of State Services, DSS Abuja revealed that his client was still being kept in solitary confinement for over 14 months. A G O four, however, stated that IPOB leader was elated on the prayers and solidarity shown to him by friends and well wishers on his birthday and prayed that God bless him.
Oyedu was profoundly elated on the outpouring of prayers, good wishes, and solidarity on his special day on earth. He requested the expression of his heartfelt gratitude to you all, Umochineke followers, friends, families, and all lovers of freedom across the globe for massively celebrating him on his birthday. He does not take this for granted. Oyedo assures you all, Umochineke, that he will emerge stronger and victorious in the end and which freedom will greatly impact positively on the lives of Umuchineke. May I also use this medium to clarify that Onyedu is not appearing in court on the 4th of October, 2022. Umuchineke will be informed via this platform or other approved channels of communication whenever Onyedu will appear in court. Kindly ignore the false rumor currently in circulation. We wish to reiterate that our defense team, eminently led by the indefatigable Chief Mike Ozekome, San, is not relenting in all legitimate actions necessary to bring every forms of infractions on Oyedu's rights being flagrantly violated by the DSS even in custody to a halt. Thankfully, our efforts are yielding the desired result. The detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, Mazi Unamdekanowo North, appear in court on October 4, 2022 for the continuation of his trial, according to Ifiani Ejiofo, his lead counsel. Although a geo for did not provide details, it may be connected to Kano's worsening health condition. The IPOP's leader council who stated this in a statement after Monday's written visit to Kano at the headquarters of the Department of State Services, DSS Abuja. To my dear listeners, now I've come to the end of our today's news. Please do draw by at the comment section and let us know.